Zombie Drift is an indie game that I picked up on Steam for $0.49, cents, and I'd say that I got my money's worth. The game is very simple with one real goal. Destroy all zombies and pumpkins, why pumpkins got randomly thrown in, I have no idea, in a level and you reach the end zone without crashing your car. The game consists of 52 levels and after beating the final level it resets back to level 16. I don't know why level 16, but okay. The first time it happened I thought it was maybe a glitch so I played through the levels again and reached the same result. That being said, all 52 levels can be completed in about half an hour, and probably under 15 minutes if you don't crash a single time. And this game looks easier than it actually is. You have no way to decrease your car's speed, so you'll often crash and just have to restart the level. The game has no story, but doesn't need one. It's just simple fun, the way a game should be. The graphics are... Well, it's a small indie game. The normal price is 99 cents, so what do you expect? The game does give you a choice of nine different cars, but I just stuck with the black car. I think the final thing that's worth noting in the soundtrack, it's almost non-existent and is just one 10 second song on repeat. Overall, Zombie Drift is a fun little time waster that I recommend if, if it's on sale and you have some spare change in your Steam account. My final score for this game is 7.4 out of 10. Well everybody, that's my video for today. I hope that everyone enjoyed watching. I mostly discuss, play, and review zombie and horror games on my channel, so maybe subscribe if that sounds interesting. And with the upcoming releases of Jawbreaker and TMNT Arcade Wrath of the Mutants, I'll probably be covering those for the next several days. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Jesus loves you. Always remember that. Peace.